What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Fresh Cuts. Y'all see the title. Let's not waste any more time. First up is the Moose Knuckles Sterling Parka from Saks Fifth Avenue. Let's see what this bad boy looking like. All right, this is the Moose Knuckles Sterling Parka Medium. I am six foot. Yes, this is the navy blue colorway with the white fur on there. That's the blue fox. And got the charcoal looking badge right here. Um, got their silver buttons all over. I already did a review on this coat. So basically what I'm doing is, is just recapping my winter, letting you guys know what coat did what, you know, just to make sure you guys are on the right track if you plan on buying a coat in the future, what it's like, what's the features, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. But yeah, this is the Moose Knuckles Sterling Parka. I have no complaints about this jacket. Um, I do hear a lot of people saying that you know, the slim fit on it kind of make it tight. And if you're more of a muscular person, I would suggest you get a size up from what you usually wear. I usually wear a medium. This pretty much fit me just well. I'm six foot, 170 pounds right now. And yeah, this is pretty much how it fits me. Um, Guys, I, I love this jacket so much. If you guys don't know, I travel all over the world. I just came back from St. Louis. I wore this coat. This that's not a this is not a coat you want to wear if you're in the trenches, if you're in the hood, any place. Um, common sense will tell you that when I was in St. Louis, you know, a whole lot of people was looking at me. Um, people was calling me out, you know, and stuff like that. Or when you walk by and something like this. You know, it, it, the temperature kind of rise, you know, um, so that lets me know that the coat is doing its job. But as far as it being warm, psh, really warm, really warm. You could just wear a T-shirt right underneath. That's the best thing that I like about the Moose Knuckles. Like I said, it's pretty slim fit. I didn't really realize that until I really started wearing the coat when I did the review back then. If you guys check that out, I'll put that in the description below. But yeah, when I wore this coat before, it didn't really give me uh, this the slim fit type of wear, you know? Um, I just thought that it was like tailored for your body, kind of. But I realized throughout the time I was wearing it, and I'm getting hot in this jacket as I'm talking about it right now. I realized that this coat is not for everybody, especially if you know your body type, if you're a slim, just like me, then I suggest getting your actual size. But if you're not slim, then, you know, but you could comment down below and I'll tell you what size you should get. You know, let me know your body type, your height, your width, your weight and everything. And I'll let you know. I get very hot in this jacket. I had when I was at the airport, I had to take this coat off, man. And it's man, this is a coat. Definitely know what the weather is like, because if it's not 30 degree uh, weather or anything under that, then I suggest you just leave this coat in the closet. You know, this is for really drastic weather. But if you, you know, if you're iron low or if you get cold very easily, then I suggest you uh, take this coat out. This is good for that, you know. But as for me, I get hot very fast. And this is one of those coats that just does its job, man. And um, hopefully I'll get the bomber this year. I will let you guys know as soon as I get it. The Moose Knuckles definitely did his job. I have no complaints, no nothing with this coat. Um, shout out to you if you got it. Let me know if you got the Sterling. Let me know if you got any other model. And uh, on to the next coat. All right, guys. Up next is the Montclair Ekrans in red from Neiman Marcus. Let's see what this bad boy looking like. All right, you guys. This is the Montclair Ekrans in a size two. I'm six foot. 170 pounds but listen put in the comment section below what's your body weight and everything and i'll give you the size that i recommend you wearing um but basically this fits just like the maya if you're uh interested in the maya you could also get the same size for that and the ekrans is just different style um i love the hood on this too it's just I don't know, it's something about the Montclair, man. I'm not going to stay on it too much because y'all know that Montclair doesn't necessarily keep you warm, warm, but it keeps you warm. Um, for the money that you're spending, no, you're not going to be as warm as really for the style. I, I don't really like wearing hoodies with this type of coat. I just think it looks kind of weird to me. But if you into that style, then I suggest you getting the size up from what you usually wear. But I, I pretty much look at the weather outside and be like, you know what? 
It feels like a mom clear type of day. So I'm gonna just throw it on. Whole purpose is to wear that white tee, that black tee right underneath and just, you know, just swag it out just like that. For the winter time, I didn't really include Montclair too many nights, uh, too many days, but Montclair definitely came in handy. You know, as far as warmth, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's not built for the warmth. And just something easy to wear, something eye-catching. So if you're one of those people that's looking for an all-around purpose, this is not the coat for you. This is strictly for style. This is strictly to be like in your face. As far as the mom cleared this winter time, it came in handy on a few days in Philly. The weather is very bipolar. So some days I might wear the mom clear and it serves its purpose for it. Uh, a small reason. You know, I like the, the side pocket. That's something that I definitely like. And um, I see a lot of people talking about, hey, uh, the fake coats be having the, um, the scanners on there too. Um, that's very unfortunate. You know, you can't really tell how your Montclair is real, but I got something for y'all. Hold on. I was saying that I wear fake Montclairs or whatever. So that took right there. $1,560 even. Anyway, on to the next coat. It's the Makaj Kent Puffer. It is $890. Newest kid on the block with that cotton candy blue. First off, I just want to say... Makaj is on its way to the top. I'm already know. I already know because it's not affordable, but it's less expensive than a lot of coats like Montclair and Moose Knuckles. Um, it's probably around Canada Goose, maybe even less than Canada Goose, honestly. But Makaj is the new thing, man. I love it. I love the puffiness on it. A lot of people not a big fan of the puffiness. It's more puffier than a Montclair. I already did the review for that. Check out my channel. I'll put that down in the description below. But yeah, the Makaj Kemp Puffer in blue, man, I'll tell you, I'll get compliments on this all the time, man, from old ladies to the young ladies, you know, from guys and all that. Um, Yo, I'm telling you, this coat is amazing, you guys. When I say I was wearing this every day for a couple of days in, in a week, like, this was in heavy rotation, heavy rotation. Out of all the coats I'm doing, this was in heavy rotation, and this was one of the best investments I made in 2021. Remember I say this, they will raise the prices on me. They will raise the price, guaranteed, you know, because this is incredible, and they have such a good sale. Yo, Makaj is on fire, man, and this is extremely warm. I love the, the cuff rips, the cuff rips right here. You know, it's, it's very stylish. The puffiness is very warm. The color, even the hood, man. Even the hood, man. It, it's just, you know, even the way the, the hood closes up with the drawstrings, it's just amazing to me. I will buy a black version of this coat because I want to wear this coat every single day. Montclair, you know, it's overcrowded. Everybody buying it. Makaj is the new fresh thing. And I'm telling you, like the features, this was in heavy rotation, you guys. Um, I don't know how it is to clean it. It's $890. I would say take it to the cleaner. Somebody in the comments uh, said that one of them got the coats dirty and they just wiped it and it easily came off. So I don't know how true that is. Going off of somebody else's word. I love the pockets right here. I love the side pocket right here. I love the features where it has the hand warmers inside. Y'all know I'm, I love that. Say just a white tee. And you be hot in this, man. Like, especially if you're inside the building, you might want to take this jacket off. But if you're one of those people that get cold easily, I would suggest you layer up. Just not too much because you you can still sweat in this coat. The weather outside is very bipolar in Philly, like I said before. So this was in heavy rotation, you guys. Um, when it got cold in the morning and warm in the afternoon, it was still all right to wear this. You know, I, I wasn't the hottest. I was comfortable either or conditions and that says a lot shout out to makai the newest kids on the block onto the next coat and last but not least we have the canada goose carson parka but from Newman marcus and just like i said you guys i already did a review on this coat so i'm just going to give you the recap of my winter and how the coats did its justice so um yeah, this is the Carson Parker. This is a size large. I could have got a medium. I could have got a small, honestly. Six foot, 
170 pounds. This hood is very wide. Y'all already know how I feel about it. But um, honestly, this coat is very, really, really comfortable. I was in New York the other day. Basically, yo, I'm not gonna lie. Canada Goose is very comfortable, man. And even though the building was freezing, I don't know if they if they didn't have heat in the building. This did come in handy, you guys. Um, you know, I love the parka. I love the the long extended version. You know, the the parkas. I feel like it, it does its job, so that's something you might want to look into if you're on the East Coast. Um, I can't speak for everywhere else, but definitely on the East Coast, Parkas is the way to go. If you have a bomber in your closet, you know, that's that's a good switch up, you know, from for certain days. But yeah, you know, sometimes this Parka does its job, and when you least expect it to be cold, um, it will do its job. So I have to commend uh, Canada Goose for that. Um, I feel like I was a little bit too harsh on Canada Goose, the last quote review, but honestly, I didn't really, this wasn't in my uh, rotation as much as the other coats, but I have to say, Canada Goose does its job. It does its job, you know, with the coyote fur and everything. Um, I was in New York, like I said, so it was just really, really cold outside. I had the um, hoodie. Now, this is a good this is a good coat to have a hoodie underneath. As far as the moose knuckles, I can't say that. Montclair, you know, I see people do the hoodies. I don't really like the style, but you can wear a hoodie underneath the uh, Montclair. And as far as the um, the macage, the macage, I could see you wearing a hoodie underneath. You know, I did wear a hoodie when I bought it. Um, you know, I, I really like wearing just a white t-shirt underneath my coat, but Canada Goose is really nice for having hoodies underneath. Oh, everybody has the black, everybody has the gray, everybody has the white one, but the camouflage, it just does something, man. It's very different. And, you know, if you have a sweatsuit, I had an olive green sweatsuit. If you have a black sweatsuit, maybe even gray, this, this just does the right job. You know, it's very, very practical very practical and simple but it's still you know if you wear it with certain things you can still get a lot of compliments a lot of people love this coat um like i said it wasn't really in my rotation this winter time hopefully this winter uh will be more harsh hopefully not but if it's more harsh i'll definitely bring the canada goose out because this is good now i don't want to get the fur wet so they do have a, a zipper i don't know if you see but they do have a zipper right here to take the coyote fur off. That's a very, very good addition to this coat because with the moose knuckles, you have to take the whole hood off. For Makaj, you can take that the whole hood off too. Uh, for Montclair, the hood is permanent, but this is water resistant. I like it buttoned up so you don't show the, um, the zipper or whatever. I don't really like it zipped up all the way to the top. Overall with the Canada Goose, I still say it's a go. I still think this is a very good deal. I don't know if it's still $995 like when I bought it, but listen, like this, this coat is very practical, very simple. I plan on having maybe another color in the future. I will let you guys know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Canada Goose. But out of all those coats, I still have to say Moose Knuckles. <sighs> They killed it with this one, man. They killed it with this one. This is definitely the best coat out of the whole collection. You guys, y'all already know how I feel about this. Best $1,100 that I spent. I love the, the details. It's just the little things that I like about Moose Knuckles that just makes this coat so much better, in my opinion, with the uh, Blue Fox. Makaj is definitely, I, I can't wait to see what they have next up. And the same thing with Moose Knuckles. I want to see what they have in the future. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I'll, re I'll get back to you. Any size, any comparisons that you need, let me know. Any models that you guys prefer over these. Um, pair of jumpers. I know a lot of people have been getting on me about that on the East Coast. We're not too familiar with pair of jumpers like the UK. Um, shout out to you guys. What coat were you wearing this winter? I want to know. So let me know what you guys think. The Moose Knuckles is definitely the winner. This is definitely the, the coat of the year. Um, a lot of people are wearing this. Like I said, 
I just left St. Louis. It was very, very cold out there and this coat did exactly what I thought it was gonna do. And I just wore a t-shirt. That's it, just a t-shirt. I didn't layer up, I didn't put dermals on, I didn't put a sweater, a hoodie underneath. I just wore this and I was good to go. And I love the hand warmers up top. You know, this, this coat is just everything I needed to be. So it's your boy Fresh Cuts. Thank you for watching.